We've certainly come a long way in race relations since 1975. Prior to 1975, there was very little someone could do to hold someone to account if they experienced racial discrimination or racial vilification. This piece of legislation, the Racial Discrimination Act, established a right to uh, be protected from racial discrimination and it, it set a standard for acceptable conduct and set a standard for respect, equality and tolerance in our society. If you think of the success of our multicultural society, you have to say that the Racial Discrimination Act has provided the legislative backbone for that success. Is it well, the big problem you and your colleagues face in trying to address race and this, this, I suppose, casual racism that is so entrenched in parts of Australian society, people, in their view, not deliberately saying racist things? Precisely. It's a question of changing attitudes over time and doing that is very hard work because quite often people don't realise that they're saying or doing something with racist implications. People still have a dictionary definition of racism in their head. They think of racist violence or extremism or segregation, but you don't need to uh, have such forms of prejudice or discrimination in order for racism to occur. Quite often it does exist in the form of stereotypes, prejudice, uh, or in what Martin Luther King called the soft bigotry of low expectations. Uh, but I should note as well, Michael, that along with casual racism, we still have systemic expressions of racism in our country. If you look at the inequalities experienced by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in education, in health, in employment uh, and in the justice system, they are signs of systemic racism being uh, being still around. And, and picking up on that uh, in terms of uh, the, the racism directed you know, by some members of the community towards Indigenous, Indigenous Australians, how important has it been that uh, public figures in that community, and the name that strings to mind of course is Adam Goods, standing up and actually calling out racist comments and racist remarks? Oh, it's absolutely important and Adam Goods has been a powerful advocate for racial equality and on Indigenous affairs. He's been an ambassador for our Racism It Stops With Me campaign. But as recent debates and incidents have illustrated, not everyone will be comfortable with people challenging power and challenging attitudes. But having those voices is powerful. And if we look at Adam Goods's impact in particular, you think of how people these days at sporting events report or call out incidents of racial abuse. It wasn't that long ago where the sporting arena was a sanctuary for the venting of prejudice and insult and abuse.